Arica está marcando el comienzo de una nueva e importante era para el sector energético. Se trata de la construcción de dos islas energéticas artificiales en el Mar del Norte y el Mar Báltico. Para saber más de este proyecto nos encontramos con Hanne Edlesen, vicepresidenta de EnergyNet. The wind energy works. How do you produce it? Then? In uh, Denmark, we have some of the best uh, areas for wind. Yes. So there's a lot of wind all the time, especially in the seas, in the North Sea and in the Baltic Sea. Yes. And then you can put up uh, wind turbines. Yes. And they will produce energy, electricity, uh, those wind turbines, as long as the wind is blowing. How many wind turbines do you have, or how many wind mills do you have already? In Denmark, we have uh, uh, wind on land and also wind offshore. Yes. But not as much as we can have. Uh, so we, we only have a small amount now, but it produces approximately 50% of our uh, uh, electricity consumption already. Already? Yeah. Oh, so so it is, uh, for our small country, still a lot. <laughs> yeah. But we plan to have even more. Uh, oh, really? Much more, up to uh, uh, 40 gigawatts, which approximately uh, suits 40 uh, million households. And how are you going to export that? You're going to send to the to the grid, or how are you going to yeah. export that? We are making uh, cables okay. to uh, our neighboring countries, mm -hmm. and that is uh, one of the keys uh, in the green transition. It's a key thing that you have transmission lines to other countries. So let's talk about this amazing project. Tell me how start this dream with our colleagues in in the neighboring countries for so some time discussed how to uh, make a society that was a hundred percent renewable and then one of uh, our colleagues in in the Netherlands mm -hmm. he phoned uh, my boss and he said I have this idea about making uh, an artificial island and uh, in the middle of the North Sea far out and then create this uh, sort of near shore environment oh. uh, do you want to join because you know about uh, Uh, neighboring countries and cabling and you know about coupling with the gas sector so we need you guys and then uh, my boss asked me Hannah this is something new it's probably also a bit difficult uh, can you do it you say, so yeah <laughs> I say, are you kidding <laughs> yeah I, I thought it, it sounded very exciting yeah um, of course but also quite sort of um, futuristic in the yes. beginning. Uh, we did a lot of studies and analysis and uh, asked all the clever people. <laughs> and the interesting thing was that we had actually really done all of this that was needed before, just not in that scale yes. and not in that speed. Mm. But we had done it. We had done uh, artificial islands before. Yeah. We had done uh, wind turbines and wind farms before. Yeah. We have done the cabling. Uh, we have an idea about how to do uh, power to X, which can also be a part of the future energy islands. Um, so the hard thing was really to have uh, countries cooperating. Yeah. Great. So now we have your plan here. This is a concept. It's just a vision. It might not look like this, but <laughs> but he has a lot of the ideas here. So it's basically uh, the hub. Yes. Where you create a nearshore environment. Mm -hmm. Then you put up uh, the wind uh, uh, turbines, turbines and you connect those turbines directly to the island. Yeah. Uh, Connected by, by a line. On it. Yeah. Yes. You have one over here, uh, oh, the yellow one. Yeah. yeah. So um, they only need a short cable uh, oh. from each turbine to the um, to the island. And then on the island, we uh, in a guinnet will transform uh, the power into uh, a kind of power that you can transport in long distances. Oh. And then you have a, a, another color uh, of the cable. Yes. Uh, that is a, a bigger cable, a more expensive cable, and it's also an export line. Oh. So you, we have one that goes to Denmark, okay, and then we can have other cables that goes to other countries. Other countries, okay. Belgium, Germany, the Netherlands, Norway, etc. So that we can use these expensive big cables to both import and export from and to the island. So when there's no wind, we can have power made of water in Norway. Uh, turn that way and vice versa when there's lots of wind. And we hope that we have uh, the first island uh, on an existing island in 2030. And then uh, we will build an artificial island also 
uh, and in an even larger scale uh, to 2033. So we hope in Chile we can just learn about your experience. <laughs> yeah, because I have, we have a lot of condition to, to these turbines or wind turbines. You also have a lot of uh, waters and also a lot of good wind. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we have water but it's too deep. So <laughs> anyway. Maybe floating uh, yeah, will be a possibility. We're going to call you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much for the interview.